What's going on Internet? IG here again with another Linux app review. Today we're going to be having a look at the Zim Desktop Wiki, a note-taking application based on the Wiki framework. Alright, so this application is basically about taking notes and information and sorting it all out in a way that's yeah, functional and it's organized and you can throw in attachments or graphs or links to other websites or documents etc etc it's basically a way that you can conglomerate all your information in an organized fashion so it's a bit of a note-taking tool but it can also be a bit of a documentation tool as well uh, based on what kind of project you're working on so apart from the fact that this application looks a little bit sparse at least on the toolbar side of things you've got a lot of options here in the menus uh, you can see here that we can create new pages new sub pages based on uh, what what basket you have above so it's a bit like basket notes that I've reviewed in previous applications I believe but you can see here that I can add a new sub page so we shall just use this as an example um, and you can see here that it pops up a heading with the date it was created and as you type and fill in information that you've got there you can then insert images or bullet lists checklists uh, symbols etc links to other files uh, you've got all the formatting tools here that you would expect in most Wikipedia type creations and you've also got some search tools here word counts uh, you can also uh, synchronize these with web servers you can see here so it's a very very versatile note-taking application now because of the fact that I haven't been using this application for that long I don't actually have anything very much to show you in the app itself. Thankfully on the website they have a lot of great screenshots uh, of what this program is capable of so we're just going to have a quick look at some of these at the moment you can see here that they've got uh, they've got examples of all the different formatting you can use such as bold italic highlighted uh, inserting links and also doing checkboxes as you can see here you can also get rid of the uh, you can also get rid of the icons altogether so that it, uh, so that it's a minimalized uh, workspace and again uh, the the Ubuntu's HUD menu really comes in handy here because you can type those menus to your heart's content the application is written in Python so it's a fairly nice and easy application to install it doesn't have that many dependencies at all and you can see here you can uh, link it in with other programs so you can open up in images and links with uh, external applications very easily you can also then uh, attach them to a calendar and bring a calendar based interface into there as well so if you want to use this for like a journal you can do that quite easily you can also see the task list view here where you can uh, really turn this application into a getting things done type interface. You can see here that we've got a list of uh, tasks that need to be done, their due dates, and then uh, based on that, the priorities that need to be done. So it's really a versatile and powerful uh, note-taking task management, project management uh, application. You can see here also that we've got different versions of the same notebook. So you can see here the dates that it was modified, the author, and any comments that you might wanna add. So it's very good if you're collaboratively working on on a particular project or notebook etc and it also uh, has support here for equations which is pretty awesome as well so really this application can can do a lot of great stuff uh, depending on what you want to use it for it can really be adapted to whatever floats your boat now this application is available for all Linux distributions as well as Windows which is pretty impressive and then also you can export the notebooks as either a HTML or a latex so then you can look it up with uh, you can look it up as a a notebook with links just like you would a, a normal wiki website which is pretty awesome you can also print to browser there as well which makes it easier to share online and stuff like that so zim desktop wiki is definitely something worth looking at if you would like a brainstorming type application note-taking task management that sort of thing just getting things done and being productive after all that's what computers were designed for and I think you definitely won't be left in the dark having an application like this in your toolkit so thank you for watching and subscribing and liking and doing whatever you do when you like this kind of content again I'm just going to do a quick reminder uh, that I do have more Linux distro reviews coming on the way shortly. Uh, we're looking at all the Ubuntu derivatives, uh, Zorin, Ping iOS, and Linux Deepin when that becomes stable. Uh, we're also going to be looking at Android, Android 4.0 in the very, very, very near future. I know I've been promising that for a while, but I definitely do want to do that. And also, if you are still interested in doing in me doing Mac videos, then I'll uh, throw a link to the donate page down below where I've started a campaign for uh, donating for a Mac Mini. Thank you all for watching and your support, and I shall see you all in the very near future. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.